हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन एस्कॉन रजिस्टर दैट इज द सीरियल कंट्रोल रजिस्टर सो दिस इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द सीरियल कंट्रोल रजिस्टर अगेन इट इज अ एट बिट रजिस्टर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द एस की एस्कॉन डॉट सेवन बिट दैट इज एस एम जीरो एंड एस एम वन नो एस एम जीरो एंड एस एम वन दीज टू बिट्स दे आर फॉर सीरियल पोर्ट मोड स्पेसिफाइड इन सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन देर आर डिफरेंट मोड्स दैट इज टोटल फोर मोड्स एंड फॉर सिलेक्टिंग अ पर्टिक्युलर मोड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दीज टू बिट्स दैट इज एस एम जीरो एंड एस एम वन सो वेन वी पुट एस एम जीरो एंड एस एम वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो दैन इट इंडिकेट्स अ सीरियल मोड जीरो वेन इट इज जीरो वन इट इंडिकेट्स मोड वन वेन इट इज वन जीरो इट इज मोड टू एंड वेन इट इज वन वन इट इज अ सीरियल मोड थ्री सो आउट ऑफ दिस फोर मोड्स वी आर इंटरेस्टेड ओनली इन मोड वन of serial communication and the other three modes uh, we are not going to use because they are rarely used today so uh, in the serial mode 1 uh, the data framing is like 8 bit of data one stop bit and one start bit now this makes it compatible with the com port of ibm or compatible pc now in this case uh, serial mode 1 allows the baud rate to be variable and it is set by the timer 1 of 8051 microcontroller and therefore in this mode 1 actually we are going to transmit the 10 bits for every character that is 8 bit of data one start bit and one start bit so this is what is the first two bits that is the mode specifier bits the next bit is a sm2 bit so this sm2 bit enables the multi processor capability of 8051 and as here we are not interested in the multi processor communication so we are not going to use this bits and therefore we are going to make this bit is equal to 0 the next bit is a ren bit the ren bit is called stands for the uh, receive enable bit and uh, this is a bit addressable register so you can also access it like scon.4 instead of uh, ren now when we make this ren bit is equal to 1 then it allows the 8051 to receive the data on the rxd pin and as a result if we want 8051 to both transfer and receive data then ren must be set to 1 but if we make ren is equal to 0 then the receiving is disabled okay and for setting and receiving the ren we have a instruction there are two instructions so when we uh, want to set the ren bit then in that case we are going to use the instruction set b we are using the instruction set b and you can write it as scon.4 so this will set your ren bit and whenever you want to disable it then in that case you can use clear scon.4 so this is how you can use this bit that is ren then the next bit is a tb8 bit now this tb8 stands for the transfer bit 8 and it is used for the serial modes 2 and 3 and the serial modes 2 and 3 are specifically for multi processor communication so this bit we are not going to use here so again we'll make this bit equal to 0 then next bit is a rb8 so rb8 is a receive bit 8 so this is again related with the multi processor communication only so again we are going to make it equal to 0 the next two bits are very very important uh, which are the ti and the ri flag so ti stands for the transmit interrupt so this is an uh, extremely important flag in this register and whenever the 8051 finishes the transfer of 8 bit character then this ti flag is raised to indicate that it is ready to transmit the another byte and the ti bit is raised at the beginning of the stop bit and the second or last bit is a ri bit which stands for the receive interrupt flag so again this is also important because when the ad51 receives the data serially via rxd then it gets read off start and the stop bit and places the byte in the s buffer register and at this time it raises the ri flag bit to indicate that the byte has been received safely and it should be picked up before it is lost 
and this bit is raised half away through the stop bit. So these are the uh, all uh, information about all the bits of the ESCON register. Now when we go for the uh, serial communication programming then what format or what value we are going to load in the ESCON register now we will see that. So SM0 and SM1 bits mode specifier but here we are interested in the mode 1 of serial communication. So I am going to select a mode 1 that is SM00 and SM11. So I will write 0 and 1. SM2 bit is for multiprocessor communication so I am going to write a 0. Receive enable I want the receive enable because I want both transmit as well as receive. TB8 I am not going to use here. RB8 also I am not going to use here. And TI and RI flag they are set whenever there is a transmission of a bit or a reception of a bit. So initially we have to make it equal to 0. Okay. So this is what is the value that we are going to load in the SCON register. And that value comes out to be this is 0101 that is stands for 5 and the all 0000, 0, 0, 0 that means stands for 50. So whenever you want to use uh, this serial communication and the SCON register and if you want the receive enable on then in that case you have to load it with the uh, value of 50. So this is what all about a serial control register. So if you like my video then please share the video with your friends and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.